Hi, I'm Indiana, and you're watching Indiana's English Lounge. This time, I'm going to introduce some English sentence patterns for when you want to talk about the first time somebody does something. This sentence construction is often difficult for my Japanese-speaking English students because the grammar is much simpler in Japanese. I'll be introducing how to use these three sentence structures. At the end of the video, I'll quiz you on what you've learned. Let's begin. The first sentence structure is the easiest. You can simply add for the first time to any complete sentence. Remember, a complete sentence must have at least a subject and a verb. And usually there's an object too. For example, yesterday I ran a marathon. If we want to say this was the first time, we can say yesterday I ran a marathon for the first time. Tomorrow we will visit Germany. Tomorrow we will visit Germany for the first time. He's skateboarding. He's skateboarding for the first time. I have just eaten a croissant. I have just eaten a croissant for the first time. This is the simplest way to say it. You can use any tense and just add for the first time to the end of a complete sentence. You can also use this in a question form as in, is he skateboarding for the first time? The second structure looks like this. It, that, this, or a noun related to time, plus to be, plus a possessive determiner, like my, her, your. First time, and the gerund or ing form of a verb. It's easier than it looks. Here are some examples. Yesterday was my first time running a marathon. Tomorrow will be our first time visiting Germany. It's his first time skateboarding. That was my first time eating a croissant. As you can see, it's common to use the dummy subject pronoun it or a determiner like this or that. We can also use a noun related to time, like yesterday or tomorrow. The important thing to remember here is if you use a possessive, like my first time, your first time, our first time, the verb that comes next has to be in the ing form, the gerund. You should also notice that we are conjugating the verb to be in these sentences. It is his first time. Yesterday was my first time. You can use this sentence pattern with most tenses, but we don't really see it that often with the present perfect or present continuous tense like these. It is being his first time skateboarding. It has just been my first time eating a croissant. Okay, the third structure looks like this. It, this, that, or a noun related to time. To be the first time subject and another conjugated verb. We're conjugating to be and the verb that comes at the end. For example, yesterday was the first time I ran a marathon. Tomorrow will be the first time we visit Germany. It's the first time he's skateboarding. This is the first time I have eaten a croissant. You might be thinking, hold on, Indiana, can I say? Tomorrow is the first time we will visit Germany. Can I say that? 
I think this is grammatically acceptable, but it does sound more natural to say it the other way. Tomorrow will be the first time we visit Germany. The most important thing, though, is don't use will twice. As in, tomorrow will be the first time we will visit Germany. Did you notice? When the first time is used, the words that follow create a complete sentence. Let's compare that to when we say my first time. Yesterday was the first time I ran a marathon. Yesterday was my first time running a marathon. I ran a marathon is a complete sentence. There's a subject and a verb. Running a marathon is not a complete sentence. There's no subject. Paying attention to this will help you not mix these up. Saying my first time should be followed by the ing form of a verb. Saying the first time should be followed by a complete sentence that includes a subject and a verb. By the way, it's totally fine to swap first for other numbers. Like, it was my second time running a marathon. It's totally fine. I'm just talking about first because it's the most common one that comes up. Okay, so we've reviewed three sentence patterns for you to talk about your first experience, your first time doing something. Now, let me quiz you. Question one. Next week will be my first time a cooking class. Which word should be put in the blank? taking. When you see a possessive, my first time, your first time, you know that the verb that comes next should be in the ing form, the gerund. Question two. Yesterday was the first time mom sushi. Which verb should go in the blank? Yesterday was the first time my mom ate sushi. We want a complete sentence with a subject and a verb to come after the first time. And since I said yesterday, it makes sense to conjugate that verb into the simple past tense. So, ate. Question three. What's wrong with this sentence? This evening will be my sister's first time to perform the piano in front of an audience. So, we have a possessive. My sister's first time. Because of that, we know that the verb that comes next should be the ing form of the verb. So instead of to perform, we should say performing. This evening will be my sister's first time performing the piano in front of an audience. Great work. Thank you so much for liking and watching this video. Definitely subscribe to my channel for more English lessons. Please try and answer these questions in the comments for more practice. When was your first time driving a car? Describe the first time you traveled alone. What will you do for the first time this year? Good luck with your English studies.